All right, now that we understand the basic concepts of um, complex rational expressions, we're going to learn that there are really two different methods of working with these, of simplifying them. So our first method is just to use kind of our basic rules of fractions. And what we're going to do here first is we're going to look at this as a numerator and then a denominator. So I'm going to just look at this numerator first. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, one minus a over a minus two. I'm going to come out to this side here and I'm just going to simplify this. So in order for us to work with this we need a common denominator which in this case would be a minus two. Now if you need to see uh, this one as a fraction you can always put it over one so that you can see that. Now between one and a minus two our common denominator would be a minus two. Now let's look at what do we need to multiply this first fraction by in order to have the common denominator and that would be an a minus two. So we're going to do the exact same thing to the numerator. So we'll have a minus two now over a minus two. Now for our second fraction it already had the common denominator so we could just write that as a over a minus two. Now let's put these two things together. We can rewrite this now as a minus two and then minus a all over a minus two. And our a's will cancel here. We've got plus one minus one. So we're just left with negative two over a minus two. So I'm going to say that this numerator will simplify all by itself into negative two over a minus two. Now let's look at just this denominator. And again, I'm going to do this out sort of to the side. So it'll be two minus a plus two all over a. And here again, if you need to see this two as a fraction, go ahead and put it over one. Now between one and a, we need a common denominator, which in this case would be a. And we are just going to create equivalent fractions using our just same old fraction rules. So what do we have to multiply one by in order to turn it into an a? That would be a. So we have to do the exact same thing to the numerator. So a times two would be two a. And then we have the second fraction which already had the common denominator. So that would be a plus two. Now we can put these together as a single fraction over that common denominator of a. So here we'd have 2a minus a plus 2. Since we are subtracting off a binomial, remember that we have to distribute that negative. So this is going to be minus a minus 2. And then we can continue simplifying. So 2a minus a would be a minus 2 all over a. So this simplifies into a minus two over a. Now by doing that we have created a single fraction over a single fraction. So if I were going to write this out as, um, as using division instead of the fraction bar this would be negative two over a minus two divided by a minus two over a. And remember, we never divide fractions. Instead, we flip the second one and change it to a multiplication. So this would be times a over a minus two. And now we could do any canceling if there was any. In this case, we don't have any numerators that will cancel with any denominators. So we simply multiply straight across. So this would be negative two a over a minus two times a minus two. Or we could write this as negative two a over a minus two quantity squared. That would probably be the best way to write that answer.